What's up guys? So today I'm going to be getting started on the sound deadening project for my WRX. Uh, if you guys watched my quick unboxing video, I've picked up some Noiko sound deadening material. This is what it looks like inside. I've got a whole lot of this stuff. The plan is to do quite a bit of the WRX, uh, specifically around the rear uh, with the subwoofer and the trunk, and then eventually the doors. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be getting started with just the rear seats beneath them. There's obviously a fair bit of road noise that comes from beneath there, uh, some rattles. Um, from the wheel wells, there's exhaust noise and wheel noise, and then obviously I have the subwoofer set up in the trunk here, which I'll show you guys later perhaps. But for today, we're gonna to be doing underneath this seat. So I'm gonna get started and remove that seat, and then we'll get laying down some of the sound deadening material. All right guys, so beneath each seat, kind of right in the middle is this little clip. And you have to reach your fingers underneath and pull the clip out and it will undo. And then the seat can come up. So do the same on both sides. And this seat literally just lifts up out of place. The seat belts will stay in there. And you can just literally pull this out. It literally took like 10 seconds. All right, so I've taken that seat out now and you saw how easy it was. Here are the clip locations that I mentioned. You literally just gotta push this part out and it like lets the seat lift up. It's so easy. So I'm basically just gonna start by cutting the Noiko sound deadening material up and fitting it into shapes that I think will fit and then just start pressing it down. So I'm just gonna get started by cutting up some of the material into like starting shapes of what I wanted to start like and then I might trim it afterwards. Now we just need to peel this backing off. It's just really sticky underneath. And line it up into place. Now you can buy like a metal roller from them. Um, I didn't get that included. So uh, my friends who have done this just recommended using a mechanics glove and pressing it down firmly with your hand. And that seems to work really well actually. So I've just now finished, got the whole underside of the seats done, and it actually looks really good. Uh, basically, as you can see, I've laid down the material here as best I could, and tried to maximize my usage of the material so that I didn't waste any. And there's a lot of tricky kind of grooves and spaces where you can't necessarily fit an entire flat piece. So you do need to trim it and just kind of patch it in with small pieces like I did here. Some of the main areas, it's really easy. You can just use one big piece like up there. Um, and then the fuel doors, I just used one big piece. And I kind of cut it to like fit this, but it, this was kind of stuck down originally. This was like sticking down for some reason. And I didn't realize that it comes up. So now like I didn't necessarily have to do this kind of cut there. So I might go back and put some material right there. Um, but otherwise it looks really good and like getting some of these pieces in was just like one big square, fit it into the grooves and, and press it down. It looks really good. And then some like important areas are where plastics meet the metal. So I used material underneath here where that touches and underneath here, underneath this like kind of clip here um, where it touches and I did it on the other side as well. And I feel like that's gonna help with kind of vibrations while you're driving. The entire process took me about an hour to do. And that was just, you know, me cutting and fitting in the pieces as best I could and taking my time to try and make it look as nice as possible. I'm really looking forward to now driving and seeing what difference I notice with just having the rear seat done like this. 
but my plans are still to do the rest of the car. This was, I would say, probably the easiest. The trunk might be pretty easy as well. I still want to do the entire top deck up here. And then lastly, which is going to be the most complicated, is the doors. But for now, this is the start of the series. I'm really excited to see what this sounds like. And we are complete. In terms of material usage, I used just under two full sheets of this stuff. So this is all I have left of the second sheet, is this piece here. Um, there's nine sheets in a box, and I've got two boxes, so I've actually got lots of material. I expect maybe I'll use the rest of this for the tr there's like There's still six more sheets in here, so <laughs> the trunk and the rear deck, and then I still have another box to get the doors done with, but no shortage of material, but I still wanted to maximize uh, usage. I didn't waste any, basically, so that's good. So the rear seat's back on. It was literally so easy to remove. You just undo those two clips and it comes out. So I know that this is gonna be the easiest video in my project for doing the sound editing, but I'm looking forward to doing all the rest of the car, doing the rear, doing the doors, and seeing how nice it sounds to drive the car with all that sound editing in there. I know it's gonna make such a nice difference with the road noise, which I kind of get annoyed, especially in the winter with, on the studded tires. Big thank you to Noiko for sending me out this sound editing material and making this video possible. Their product is a lot less expensive than some of the competitors out there, and I think that they get that by not having as fancy packaging and fancy marketing or like some big Instagram page promoting their stuff. They are able to spend less money on doing that kind of stuff, put more money into the product and keep the product at a lower cost. I'll have a link down in the description of this video to their products on Amazon if you're interested in checking it out. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you have any tips or tricks for me for doing the rest of my car, please share them. I'd be really happy to hear that. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always, I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are.